Hi, I'm going to show you how to do some text analysis where we identify parts of speech in some text that we brought into Power BI using Python. So what I have here is a out of the box word cloud and I've brought in the text that I'm evaluating. But you can see on the right side, there is a filter and this filter allows me to identify the parts of speech. For example, different adjectives. I can filter out things like this, uh, adverbs, nouns, different types of nouns, different types of verbs, verb bases. So this would be very useful if you're creating a marketing campaign and you want to look for words that you see in your customer reviews. So let's jump over to the Power Query Editor and take a look at our text and then we'll code this out. So let me go back up into the source data. And as you see here, we have um, some columns, IDs, age, title, the, re the review text, which we're going to focus on. And we're going to be able to parse that out and do some text analysis. And I'll show you how to do that in a moment. And you see, we have some other categories here, which may come in useful in your analysis. So what I'm going to do is just duplicate this. And then I'm going to get rid of all of the steps that I did for the Python code, where we just have this normal data that we brought in. Now, the one thing that I did do, I filtered the rows because it's a lot of data. And when you do text analysis, it takes time. So you could, I'll show you the filter. I just took the first 50 rows and that'll make the, the text analysis go a little bit faster. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go up to transform. I'm going to go to run Python script and I'm going to code everything in here because it's not a lot of code. I want to bring in two packages. So I'm going to import pandas, which is your data manipulation library as PD, saving it as a variable PD. And then from text blob, I'm going to import text blob. So you can see there's a capital in the, between the words. And now that I have those two packages in there, and we can always document what we're doing here by just putting a document string. So I'm going to bring in the essential. And you can see that we always have this thing that is provided by Power BI that says this data here is called a data set. So I am going to change that because it takes too long to write data set. Uh, change the data set variable. And all I'm going to do is say DF equals data set. So now it's shorter to write. So let's do our text analysis. So the first thing we want to be able to do is this text here is in individual columns. This is not going to really help us because we want it all together so we can do an analysis on it. And the way we're going to do that is what we'll do is we will join. So I'm going to join everything by a space. I don't want them to be joined without a space. So I'm going to create this space and then I'm going to put join. And then I'm going to isolate that column, which is the review text by using my DF variable which holds a data set and then re review text in this bracket notation, which isolates the column. Now that will join everything, but we need to save it as what we want. So if we're going to create a variable, we're going to call that words. And now what we'll have is all of those words together. So once we have that and we have all the words together, in that column, we can use our, we can use our text blob to start analyzing the words. So the first thing I'm going to do is create our, or our parts of speech, our nouns and everything by saying blob, which I, we need to pass our words 
to a text blob. So we're going to use that text blob. And then we're going to pass in the text, which is our words. Now that we have that blob, and you can call that whatever you want, I am going to take this and create my part of speech. And then what we're going to do is take that blob, and then we're going to get the tags. And the tags are going to be the abbreviations for each one of those parts of speech. Then what we're going to do, we need to save this as a data frame. So that's why we brought in pandas. So I'm going to call this our data. And then I'm going to just equal PD data frame. And I'm going to bring in our parts of speech. So let's run this and then I'll show you a kind of different way of doing things where we can avoid some errors that you may get in the code. So what we're being given is we see we have these variables. We have our data set, which was they called the original data. We have our data. And then we have the DF. Now, one thing that you might need to do if this doesn't work for you, I'm going to go back and I clicked the wrong thing. So let me click this off. Let me just show you the code. Sometimes what you may need to do is you may need to be very explicit in changing the text that you're concerned with into a text format. So I'm just going to show you how to do that. So you can see I'm isolating review text and then doing a as type, which I'm changing the type. And then I'm going to change this to a string. And then I want to just resave this. And sometimes that helps to eliminate any errors. And let's get rid of the period. So then I hit OK. And it looks like I made a mistake somewhere. Oh, you can see I have made a error where I don't have this last quotation. So then I'll hit OK. Now I want to open up my data, which was the last variable that we brought in and show you what that looks like. Now we have all our words that are broken up by parts of speech. And you can see we didn't name our columns, but we can easily do that. And I'll show you what I did in the final version. So here I call this our word and call this our abbreviation. Then I brought in the actual words that are for these abbreviations and here, and I've connected that all together. So let me just close and apply this so we can see it. So we can so this allows us to now filter through those different parts of speech that we were able to identify with some simple Python code. I hope you find that of help. Maybe this can add some uh, flavor to some of the projects that you're working on. Please leave comments and suggestions below. And if you're interested in making a more dynamic uh, word cloud, we do have a course where you can see how to do that on Enterprise DNA. Thank you. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to Enterprise DNA TV. If you enjoyed the content covered in this particular tutorial, please throw the video a like. It really helps us and we really appreciate it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Enterprise DNA TV channel. Uh, we have a huge amount of content coming out all the time from myself and a range of content creators 
uh, all dedicated to improving the way that you use Power BI and the Power Platform. Lastly, check out Enterprise DNA's website, plenty of resources and further learning that you can access very easily. All the best, take care.